Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. As the title says, we're going to be deploying as Windows Server 2025. But before we do that, I want to thank you everybody for getting us to 4,000 subscribers. This is a special momentum day for us and we are very grateful for you guys getting us there. And that's why we're going to bring you more content, more content for you guys to consume. And what we ask for you guys is to subscribe, give a like. And also, I wanted to also remind you guys, if you want to become a member, all the videos that we used to have back in the days are now put on the member section due to a couple of restrictions we had. So now, if you want to support it, you can access those videos. And I'm also thinking about hosting some of those videos outside of YouTube, but that will be a plan for the future. But for now, let's get into the video. So what you see is a windows server 2025 screen or nutanix screen so in our nutanix screen we have a cluster that consists of 750 gig of memory and 132 gig gigahertz of cpu this cluster is behemoth by any standards and we're going to deploy server 2025 on it so we're going to go to vm and we're going to go ahead and actually click on create vm and we're going to name this one I know it's server 2025, but we're just going to name it WS 2025, Windows Server 2025. And we're going to go ahead and name this, give this uh, the CPU we want. We're going to give this for CPU and then two virtual, two per core. So we're going to give this a lot of juice. And we're going to give this actually right now, 8 gigabyte, actually 16 gigabyte, because we don't have a resource issue really. And then we're going to give this a UFI boot may not bios we don't want legacy bios we're gonna actually get rid of the cd rom we don't want ide we're gonna click on add a disk and we're gonna click on cd rom first we need the iso from image and file we're gonna click on our server 2025 we're gonna hit add the next thing is we're gonna add another disk cd rom this is gonna be our driver to make sure the server actually works properly so we're gonna click on the driver and then we're going to add a disk to install the operating system, hard disk. So we're going to need to click the drop down menu, click on the disk, and we're going to hit give it 90 gigabyte. Now we're going to go ahead and add a NIC, and we're going to just hit the default NIC over there. Everything's so good so far. So we went ahead, named the server. We didn't give description. I'm just going to give the description YouTube video so we're gonna hit and then scroll down you're gonna see here the specs of the server is gonna be a beefy server we're gonna enable secure boot why not and we don't have any id that's fine so therefore we should be good and then you can see we don't have volume groups and we have the network so we're gonna hit save we're gonna let this moment to go ahead and actually boot up properly and i'm gonna rename this one because i don't want you guys to get confused here which one we're working with let me just name this one, remove this one. This is the old server 2025 I deployed. So the new one we have is going to be called WS 2025, as you see. We're going to power on, right click, power on the server. And then once we power on the server, we're going to get this lovely console to show up. The console is going to show up and we can then interact with the server, no problem. Second to power on. So there you go, it's powered on right now. It put it under one of the nodes. And then we're going to hit enter to get to the, I missed it, I missed it, it happens sometimes. So I needed to hit enter for the screen, and it looks like we may have missed it, which is no problem, sometimes it happens. What I need to do is hit control delete to reboot it, it will boot it back to where we can hit enter right away. There you go, we got it now. All this is doing is loading the operating system, and the drivers, and everything else. Well, another thing to note is that this server 2025 is not beta version. It's actually the official release that I can use. I have a product code and everything, but it's not out mainstream as we know all the way. It's getting closer and closer. And uh, on Monday, we have Microsoft Ignite that will be attending and I'll be able to report more information about server 2025 for you guys. But for now, this is an installation UI, so let's follow this, see what's different. Initially, you can see it looks more like a Windows 11 installation. We're going to hit language next for the keyboard. Here, it gives you an option. It tells you, would you like to repair this computer if you have an issue or you want to just install it? To do that, you have to click on 
I agree with everything and it will delete everything for you. So you're gonna hit next. Now here is where Microsoft started to monetize server 2025 better. You can see over here you have pay as you go. With pay as you go, you can pay for your license on a monthly basis using Azure subscription or you can enter your product key. I don't have product key. I don't want to put my product key inside the YouTube video because I only have one. So I'm going to not use my product key right now. I might say I don't have it. From this point on, it's going to try to show you which server you want to install. 2025 standard, 2025 standard desktop experience, 2025 data center with desktop experience. So we're going to do data center with desktop experience. I prefer data center for various reasons. But you can install in standard no model whatever you want really so i do stay in there for this purpose though i'm gonna hit accept notice that i don't have the driver because this is a nutanix environment it's linux linux based so windows you have to install a driver to load the driver so we're gonna hit load driver we're gonna browse to it that's where we're able to mount our driver nutanix virtual driver we don't actually have to server 2025 yet because it's not officially out out so we're getting an early peak on this we're gonna hit we're gonna install this one i was ideally i need to install all of them but it won't let me do it so i'm gonna have to just uh, select one install and then come back it's kind of a bummer on that one and then i'm gonna do load the driver again one more time i'm gonna do the network driver the rest of it we can just uh, wing it and see if there's any issues we face later on this is pretty much the hardest part honestly that is we're gonna just sit back relax so now we got our disk showing up we're gonna hit next this is all fine it's gonna install server 225 it's not gonna keep any data which is fine all right now we wait to give you a context this server is going to be installing on a ssd enterprise ssd drives and it's gonna be installing on a nice processor slash cores. so it should be faster in your experience if you're doing this it may vary i am gonna not even pause the video i'm gonna let this real time installation go so far we're gonna set the timer how long will it take to install not that we don't we need to anyways but some of you may care so we're gonna say so far it's eight uh but basically so far one minute elapsed about one minute so let's see what happens next
so looking at the timing right now that was about from start to finish five minutes so five minutes and we're about to boot up to the server uh, finish installation you know this uh, final installation screen so after that we can supply the credential and log in so I would say it's much better it's a lot you know innovative from Microsoft and this part is gonna take fast so I think overall once this is done I might say it might take from start to finish maybe 10 minutes but we'll see let's, let's see how long this will take this shouldn't take long, that long okay so installation is completed guys start to finish seven minutes okay we're gonna supply our default admin credential all right let's log in so you can see the server 2025 obviously looks modernized so sleek and feel so right now i'm gonna click on control delete i'm gonna log into it so it's gonna actually ask me to log in with my admin password i just set it up we're in and we're able to deploy our little server we have and i'm gonna do a couple things and then i'm gonna join into the domain and we're gonna be calling it a day it's done so overall uh microsoft has done a good job on the deployment experience i really like it this is actually fine you just need to either require or include optional that's fine i'm gonna do include optional and this is obviously a server manager every microsoft server iteration since 2008 has this now so you can escape this this is how you install the roles of the server and so it's all right let's come over here minimize this look at this lovely wallpaper over here i love it this really how nice it is look at that it's really sleek and feel and you can see it looks more like windows 11 if you don't careful be careful you might think oh this is a windows 11 except you got all the server features obviously and uh, let's take a look at it the default naming that we got uh we should just get random gibberish names but this is like uh really nice really nice obviously you can see i have 16 gig of ram i have about 2 gigahertz of cpu four processors overall 
and you can see here server 2025 data center this is not a preview it's not you know any other version it's official version we got it so you can see that i didn't activate it yet but once i activate it we can actually utilize this now i'm going to do a couple housekeeping when you deploy a server you want to rename the server and give a static ip so i'm going to give you the name the new name of the server is going to be itky dash dc uh, do i want a dc mm. i'm gonna do file server fs01 i'm gonna do fail over cluster and then join another i'll create another server from this so i'm gonna hit next i won't restart yet and then i'm gonna go ahead and then we're going to enable something called remote desktop because you want to be able to RDP into the server. So we're going to click on here, scroll up, enable remote desktop so we can come remote into the server. And then finally, we're going to give a static IP. We're going to clone this, then we're going to reboot. So let's go to network, the new network interface for server 2025. It's going to be here. And over here, you got this Ethernet IPv4 setting. You can see this is the setup right now, it's DHCP. You can edit the IP here. You can change this to static or manual. And turn on IPv4, then you supply your new IP address. So what IP do I want to give to? I'm going to give it that, that, that 30. What am I doing? That's a subnet mask. Look, need to look at the screen over here. I got used to typing the IP address and did not type the subnet mask. Now here it is, the gateway. This is going to be internet routable so that I can get anything I need. DNS, let's join it to the domain. Or, yeah, we need to join it to the domain anyway. So we're going to do that one, that one, one, zero. Okay, that's fine. Everything else is great. Right now, before I hit OK, you have internet connectivity. We're going to need to have the same connectivity. So we're going to hit enter. And we should be seeing. We should be seeing the same thing. Now, if I do control panel or CMD and then IP config slash all, you're going to see something. I still need to use the old technologies. So you can see here, my new IP address is set up. Everything is good. It's 30. And now we can restart this. But once we restart it, is gonna get a new name and then we need to clone that so i'm gonna do restart i actually did it the wrong way normally you would just want to click on uh, the power button on the server and then hit restart but i restarted using the actual like a physical button equivalent of the server and that will be fine and if we restart it just fine so you can see here it's locked press control delete to login we're gonna hit ok let's connect to login here All right, so this is it, guys. You know, the server 2525 deployment is done. If you want to see the rest of it, you need to watch part two of the video. But this video, it's already long. Uh, it's definitely it needs to be trimmed down to some. And uh, 
we got what we need so you guys you can see we got the new name of the server which i'll verify for you in a sec and we just need to join to the domain and we will be able to do that on the next video and we're gonna set up a failover cluster on this server 2025 and we're gonna leverage as you can see here the server is there uh that's good so yep so that's it guys thanks for watching please hit subscribe if you haven't already and that will help this channel massively it says according to youtube analytics we have about 99 percent of you guys have not subscribed that is not good you know and i know this is a small channel but please subscribe it will not hurt you it will not cost you anything thank you bye bye